Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to work with Excel using Ginger. So in this topic, we are going to cover adding Excel action, then read data from Excel and write data into Excel. So what is this Excel, Excel action? So this Excel action is used to read or write data in an Excel file. For example, suppose we want to fill any application, then we have to enter a lot of information like name, address, date of birth, etc. So in this case, we can store this data in Excel and use it using this Excel action. So let's see how to do this in detail. So this is our ginger. Here we can I have inserted one activity. Then we can put Excel action. So Excel action is present in this general action tab. Here you can write Excel and you will get this Excel action. Double click on that, it will get added here. Okay, so double click on this action. So here is the details of that action. So in Excel action, there are three types of operations, read, sell data, read data, and write data. So we'll see read data. Now, in order to work with Excel, we first we need Excel. So uh, we have this Excel saved in our solution folder in documents folder. This is the Excel. We are going to use this Excel, okay? So just browse that excel here then what is the sheet name the sheet one okay so select the row so in our case we are going to use second row so what is the second row so this this is the excel contained there are four column id first name password and book title okay so uh, this is the second row we are going to use okay so where we have given the second row here select row where id is equal to second so i have mentioned this id in the square bracket because sometimes in column name there is a spaces to so to avoid uh, confusion uh, we put this square bracket here So primary key should be the unique key uh, column that is ID in this case. Okay, so this is our Excel action. Save this data. Here there are three operation we can do. Open Excel, so it will open the Excel, then view all data and view filter data. In view filter data, it will uh, filter the data as per your condition given here. So meaning ID equal to two, it will show only this second column, uh, sorry, row. Okay, so run this action. See, these are the output values. Okay, so for future views, we can store this variable uh, values in the variable. I have already created two business flow variable. This is the username, so I will uh, save this first name in username field and this password in the password field then save this so what this action does it read all the data present in excel so we have four columns so it read all the data whatever present in the excel and its values also okay so for future purpose, we saved it in the variable. I will show why we have saved it in the variable. Okay. So I already created one more action. Enter username and password. So where it is entering this username, I have find out the XPath. It will enter in that demo QA, this demo QA site. Here username and password. And where it is uh, taking this username and password, we have used the BF username variable. 
if you see this variable value it is picking this value from excel we already stored the data in username field when we read the data from excel right so we can use this uh, username value to input in this demo qa site and same i have done for password okay so let's run this activity first save everything then run this activity if you go there see it has input this username in username field and password into the password field so in this way we can read a data from excel and we can store in the variable and later on we can use it now we'll see how to write into excel so in order to do that let's create one more activity write data to excel then we have to add excel action here open that excel action in operating settings in this excel action we are uh, drop down we have to select write data before we uh, we have selected read data because we have to read from excel now we have to write into excel so select write data now we have to select the path of excel so we have to select the path of this excel where we have stored this excel then sheet name sheet 1 then we select the row again we will write in row number second two only okay so what is the primary key column id only and what to write data so we will write so here we will write git pocket guide in book title column so you see i have written this book title column in this square bracket okay so see here book title column we will uh, insert this uh, git pocket guide value okay so save this action and run it so this execution is, report is passed so go to that folder open that excel see it has written git pocket value in book title column where id equal to 2 okay in this way we can write into excel so that's it for this video thank you for watching